This was a great comic. The Deadpool trilogy is one of my favorite series and I'm super happy that I finally have all of it. Huh? What? What? What is this cover? Deadpool kills Deadpool? Yeah, that's basically what happened. Ugh. Am I? Was I? <gasps> he was right. So I was in a comic book after all. Who are you? What? What are you doing to me? No! Hello, people of the internet. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, I will be reviewing this Deadpool figure from the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Build a Figure Wave. I'm trying a new type of review. N not type of review, a new way of reviewing. And if you like it, tell me down in the comments. And let's begin. So, for packaging, this figure, since I bought it second hand, it didn't, it didn't arrive with the box. Which, uh, the box was just your standard Marvel Legends window box with some yellow X-Men background thingies. I'll put it right here. And yeah, just the standard Marvel Legends box. So, let's just move on. The overview of the figure. The figure doesn't have much sculpting done besides the muscles. And the belt is like this rubbery piece. Same as these. The, the straps. The head ha is one of the only things that has stretch marks. And so does his other head. It has a bunch of details. But I have one uh, one problem with the figure for details. This here, it's there's a bunch of paint here, um, which isn't the best. But I can live past that. Also, there is like excess plastic here and some paint chipping off on the boots. But it's not that much. Now, on to articulation. So, for articulation, this guy is on the Bucky Cap mode, which is a pretty familiar mode for Marvel Legends collectors. I don't have a lot of Marvel Legends, so this is my first time experiencing this mode. Now, let's go over the articulation. Head is on a ball hinge, and, it, and he looks up this far, and down this far. Of course, the swivel, 360 degrees, no tilt. It would have been great if the ball hinge was just a bit higher for the tilt. Arm goes all the way around, up more than 90 degrees. Bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, um, hand swivel and hinge. And yeah, these are for that's for the arms. For the torso, he has crunch which is all right not the best and a swivel here 360 degrees since the, uh, this is a second hand figure i bought it off of ebay uh, the waist is a bit loose but it's not that bad legs kick out really far we got a thigh swivel double jointed knees for some reason, no, it, it should have boot swivel, I just don't know what it does. If you know, if you know what it adds to the figure, uh, tell me down in the comments. I use it mostly for the, uh, for the figure's feet, since um, they have a hinge, but when, the, when I try to spin them, they just pivot. So I just use the boot cut. So a pretty normal set, a pretty normal points of articulation for this figure. Now let's go to accessories. The Merc with the mouth is equipped with a bunch of stuff. First of all, he has two heads, one masked and one unmasked, really well detailed. And I usually put this one here because I prefer the normal look. He also has two katanas with some really long grips which go right here in the in the sheets at the back he has two sci-fi guns 
which I won't even bother putting in his hands because they stretch them out. He has two normal handguns, which also sh stretch out the hands, but they go here in these place thingies. We have a giant rocket launcher bazooka, and it goes here at the back. We have a taco, not a chimichanga, but still a great accessory, and this knife which goes in his boot. Since, okay, let me just remove it, because, okay. since the guns stretch out the hands, and they didn't give him extra hands, they just gave him this, and I want him to be able to hold his swords, I used some different guns, it's not from this figure, it's from another figure, mm, I gave him these, these are way more detailed, and incredibly cool, and they don't stretch out the hands that much. And, I, and they also do fit in the pouch thingies. Now, for size comparison, I decide to do it a bit differently with these photos here. Um, he's, uh, he's standing at 6.5 inches, which is pretty normal for Marvel Legends. And he'll probably fit great in your, in your collection. Here is he compared with your average scam. He did it with my previous review. Uh, he did it with a figure I shot, like a shot posing, a posing video. And here is him with uh, this, the figure I took the guns from. So yeah. Um, for my final thoughts again, I decided to do something different with this uh, with some poses. I think the figure is great. If you manage to find it, definitely recommend it. Because the un the only other recent figure that is not a San Diego Comic Con exclusive is the 80th anniversary. And in my opinion, is just not that good. He's way too blue. And Deadpool isn't blue. He's, he's red and black. So, definitely recommend this figure. If you can find it at like eBay... Or Big Bad Toy Store. Probably you can't find it there. Yeah, I've looked. Thanks for watching. And make sure to like, subscribe, share and do all YouTube stuff. So I can continue making even more reviews. See ya!